Hello, beautiful souls. Welcome, my Taurus friends and friends of Taurus. This is the Divine Phoenix Rising Tarot, and I'm Zachary. Thank you guys for joining me here, and welcome to my table. So this is posted here at the end of February. All messages are timeless, so if whatever you feel drawn to, you guys, I encourage you to take a look. There is a reason, and there is a message there for you. So first of all, thank you so, so much for your patience. I know it's been a little choppy with posting things. I have been moving and dealing with my own mental health. So thank you guys for your love and support and patience. As always, I do channel messages with spirit prior to meditation. We look at a couple Oracle cards and then we move into the tarot. So uh, Taurus, my Taurus friend, in meditation, what came through was a garland, like a Christmas decoration garland. And the focus was brought to the center. It was like, you know, wreath, whatever, some sort of center piece. The concept that came through was an understated focus. Like um, in that sort of situation, that wreath, it is the focus. It's like the focal point, but it's also supported by what's going on around it. So I feel like there is this concept of like whatever your focus is, what it is that you're moving towards, there's also an importance to to realize like the either the supporting players or the supporting concepts and ideas and energies that are going into making whatever your focus is the central focus, okay? So let's move forward. The Oracle deck that Spirit wanted to use for you guys is the Blue Angel Oracle. And you guys got life everlasting. Yes. Uh, funny enough, actually, I was I was shuffling this deck, and I have no idea how in the hell this happened. But um, from my Lightseer's Tarot, the Two of Cups <laughs> flew out of the deck. <laughs> They're not in any way um, the same size cards here. Like, <laughs> so I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how I, I put that there, how that got there, but it did. All right, and I just thought it was cool um that the two of cups came out so i do feel very much like a partnership that's coming through message okay okay so life everlasting your immortal nature your life is an eternal blessing that spans endless light years in all directions there is light and love within every atom of your being for you are a luminous soul you are one with god and goddess you exist in the heart of oneness you are not your physical body the real you transcends all form all time and all space. You are ageless. Your soul folds back within itself, life after life. You are the oneness that is all, the eternal I am. May this message remind you of your mortal nature, and may you be forever grateful. Within time there are endless years, beyond time there is eternity. Today marks the start of a new chapter in the beautiful story that is you. Forget the script, for in truth there is none. Simply be the expression of love that you truly are. Oh. Oh, Taurus, I love it. Okay, so let's move into your spirit animal energy. I feel like this could be a part of that um, understated focus. Like the understatement, the focus is that you are everlasting love, really. Um, but it is maybe not being appreciated for what it is because there is a focus on maybe other components being more important. Hmm? Let's move forward. So Spirit, what do we have here for Taurus? From a Taurus friends for Spirit Animal Energy. I miss you guys. Thank you guys so much for your patience, like I said. This move was a doozy. Doozy doozy. Ooh, you have snake. So this is a, uh, and then you have the snake here too on the cosmic egg. Snake. So this is an earth energy. Very much like you, right, Taurus? The snake is has very much that um, that idea of eternity attached to it as well. Ooh, I love that. So we're just talking about how eternal you are. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> if I can find this here. So snake. Snake. Guardian of unawakened magic and creative potential. Hell yeah. The snake is a symbol of our highest potential. It is said that Shakti, our creative life force, lies dormant at the base of our spine in the form of a coiled snake. Regardless of whether this image rings true for you, it's well worth considering the amount of unawakened or untapped potential within. What would life look like if you woke it up? How can you stir it from slumber? An experienced yoga or meditation teacher can lead the way. Make haste, the snake card appears when there is no more time to waste. So an imbalance, prosperous, creative, and charismatic, out of balance, starts and stops many things to bring into balance kundalini yoga meditation. 
which there are uh, many, many beautiful meditations here on YouTube that uh, looking into Kundalini meditation. I feel like there is a major activation that's happening for a lot of us, all of us right now. Maybe going through a Kundalini activation. Okay. Look into it. Start meditating if you aren't already. All right. So spirit, what do we have here for Taurus? I can remember how to shuffle here. And again, you guys, there's that two of cups again. I feel like there's a, a partnership for those of you that are looking for that. Mm, maybe they're going through an activation too. Thank you guys for your love and support as always. If this message resonates with you, rings true in any way, please like, share, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell. All great ways to support me in the growth of the channel and I truly appreciate it, you guys. I have my Cash App and PayPal links in the description. If you do feel inclined or called to donate or tip, I will certainly accept that. It isn't mandatory, but thank you guys so much to those who have. It really does help me do what I do here. I have personal readings available also if you're interested. That is in the description and a pinned comment. Extended readings can be found at the end of this video, all right, in the description. So strength comes in. This is your hope, what you're hoping for. Lord, give me the strength. <laughs> I feel like there, um, you're in a place where if you are going through this process of activation, that, that kundalini energy that is trying to work its way up, you are feeling a higher call wanting to balance out a more animal driven experience here. And that's what I'm feeling from this. You are starting to see or feel taste here, <laughs> the more everlasting nature of you. You're being woken up to that idea here, that experience here, and it's causing you to want to dive deeper. Mm. Ooh, I love that. I love that for you, Taurus. What a great, what a great feeling. It's not always, um, definitely not easy, but uh, certainly worth it. Four of Wands here at the cut. Yeah, crossing a threshold. You guys are uh, taking things to the next level, working towards that finish line, whatever that looks like for you. So Spirit, what do we have here again for Taurus? My Taurus friends, this is a general message, you guys. So please take what resonates. Use your head, heart, and intuition to decipher which messages are for you. You are also very powerful. You are a co-creator here as well. So please do not forget that. Leave behind what isn't for you. And check out your rising moon and Venus for additional messages. You are more than your sun sign, okay? So seven of pentacles here at the bottom. This is your fear version. Your uh-uh. <laughs> so I feel like you're in this process of um, impatience, all right? Like you've been waiting for something to come to fruition and you're tired of waiting. That's totally understandable. But I want it now. Yes, I understand, Taurus, I do. <laughs> I get it. Um, your general, to start, you guys have eight of swords. So this is very much being in a, a self-imposed trap, a, a, a trap of the mind. Very Gemini energy here, you guys. Um, allowing the thoughts to create like a prison. So I feel, I feel like there is this, um, as you're going through this activation here, maybe this is, is feeling overwhelming. <laughs> these feelings are overwhelming and there are these thoughts that are also becoming overwhelming because of that. The Fool, yes, this new journey you guys are starting. So don't, uh, there is an encouragement to be careful that you may be restricting your ability to <laughs> what am I kidding? <laughs> Thanks, Spirit. What a fun, what a fun image. So the fool here, they're jumping off the cliff here. They're they have faith that they are going to be caught. They're moving on to this next part of their journey here. What I'm getting from this is like when you are drunk, you are relaxed, right? You're not going to be as injured and falling off the cliff here if uh, versus if you're bracing. And that's what I'm feeling like with the uh, Eight of Swords here is this action of bracing, really. Like you're taking this leap into the unknown, but you may be bracing. 
So there's an encouragement to <laughs> to get back to this innocence before before you knew what my pain was, right? Before you um, hit the ground a few times already. That takes a lot of control of the thoughts and willpower as well. But that's what you're being encouraged to do, okay? So let's keep going. The good stuff here. Oh, yes. You have King of Pentacles. King of Pentacles. So the King of Pentacles, this is wealth, you guys. This is abundance in the material realm. Generosity, either from you or from others, um, giving this energy. In starting this new journey and jumping off the ledge, taking a leap here, this is what you're being moved towards. Like boundless, boundless wealth and opportunity is what is coming through for me with a Burger King crown. <laughs> there is um, yeah, I feel like it's this mastery over over this balance too of, of giving and receiving. So in their right hand, they have the staff with the globe, the ball. Typically, the globe here is positioned in the left hand when it is in the tarot. It symbolized the left is the receiving, the feminine, the subconscious, the right is the masculine, it is the uh, conscious. So um, having it in the right hand versus like the onk, which is uh, exerting energy in life, creating life, it to me very much feels like holding holding this creative receptive force in a way, it wielding this creative receptive force, if that makes sense. You don't wield receptivity, right? You allow or you receive that in. But it feels like this balance. In finding this balance, you are finding this abundance as well that you're searching for. Five of Swords comes in to clarify this. So this is um, conflict for conflict's sake. For conflict's sake, Taurus. I feel like this is... Um, in this situation, especially being in the good stuff, this is your ability. So these two back here, just being tormented, this is very much like the Eight of eight of Swords kind of energy. Um, you are this individual who is, typically this isn't like a very super happy energy, you guys, but in this situation, you are becoming the winner. You're winning over this despair. Is how I feel. Good. You deserve that. Like, not today, Satan. <laughs> not today. So, let's keep going here. What you guys have... Interesting. You have in... A lot of swords, y'all. <laughs> a lot of swords. What you may not see coming, what is hidden here. You have the seven of swords. So, this is a very... Typically, it's a very sneaky betrayal, theft betrayal kind of energy. But it's also about diplomacy, um, finding the course of action that allows you safe passage, but also prevents damage, like a larger damage overall from, from more than just you. I feel like, especially in this card, like you're being, you're being picked up from danger. <laughs> you're being moved from danger. But the situation, hmm. But don't get too comfortable. Being in that situation, whatever is moving you from something that is dangerous in and of itself can become just as dangerous. Mm, interesting. Okay. What out? Ace of Wands. So this is the start of a new journey. This is a passionate start. This is like, this is your, um, your personal fire. I feel like the seven of swords here. So what this is doing in moving you from a situation that may be dangerous to you. Like here's an example, the example that I'm getting you. Um, let's say you lose a job. Okay. That was supporting you. <laughs> Maybe you didn't like it though. It was, it was really taking a toll on you stress wise, energy wise. So you lose this job but you're able to get state benefits, I don't know, unemployment. 
So you're able to survive on this unemployment, but it's not meant to like be a long-term thing. Do you see what I'm saying? Like you've been moved from a situation that was harmful to you where there is safety, but in staying in that situation for too long too, there is also a lack of safety eventually. So um, maybe that is a situation for some of you specifically. If so, or just as an example, there's something new that's starting. The reason why you've been picked up from that situation that you've been picked up from is because you're being directed to something new, this new journey that's starting here that the fool is talking about as well. But I feel like the tendrils here, the tendrils of your own trap can reach far is what's coming to mind. And that could also be the danger that this is talking about. But overall, this is very, very positive, you guys. This is life. This is something beautiful starting again. There's life starting on the wand again. It is not dying. It's living. It's growing. So you're being moved somewhere where there's growth, where there's life. Oh, yes. <laughs> Taurus. <laughs> so Wheel of Fortune comes in here to clarify or for your challenge. This is, um, this is a karmic thing. This is a big lesson. This is something that, not that you've done something right or wrong. This is something that your everlasting soul, <laughs> life everlasting talks about here, requested for growth, requested as a lesson here. So the challenge is that, well, shit, this is hard, right? <laughs> These challenges are not easy. They're designed to cause pressure, to cause pain so that there is growth because we grow through pressure and pain. I do feel like there is the, like the idea of um, death, death and rebirth that may be difficult, letting something go, to let something come through. Page of Swords comes in to clarify this. So this is the student of the deck. They are, the request here is to become curious about what in the hell is going on. I feel like there is a need to shift a perspective in what is going on here so that you can see it for what it is instead of falling into a trap of like, this is the difference between bracing or not bracing falling into this trap of this was against me instead of for me. See what I'm saying? That's where I feel like the difficulty here is, is to pick, pick up what the universe is putting down <laughs> instead of putting yourself down as you're being picked up. <laughs> love it <laughs> okay so uh three main pieces of advice here please for taurus spirit what's going on for taurus whoa you have three three that came right on out um creativity have fun express yourself in new ways spread your wings confidence that leads to freedom and growth yep it's very much full energy, the Ace of Wands too. There's this new journey that's starting and you're being encouraged to, um, to find your confidence in that, to find the wind beneath your wings. <laughs> Thanks, Beth. <laughs> Did you ever know that you're my hero? <laughs> Maybe, I know that sounds silly, but like becoming your own hero, okay? <laughs> seeing those qualities in yourself like you've gotten your happy ass through this life right you should be your own hero you should be <laughs> you should be the wind beneath your own wings okay denial failure to accept a situation unhealthy cycles or addictions this is very much connected to um this trap here of the mind the eight, that the eight of swords is talking about or whatever the seven of swords is picking you up out of a situation. I feel like you're seeing there is writing on the wall about something. So you're being encouraged to pay attention. Like 
don't ignore that, okay? Don't let this be an opportunity to miss your exit. <laughs> Take the exit, okay? Happiness, new discoveries that lead to celebrations. Love yourself first. Kind of back to that too, like be, be the own wind beneath your wings, you guys. Give yourself hope because like truly, I know that sounds stupid sometimes, especially when we aren't in great places. Um, but look at what you've come through. That is not nothing. And it should be recognized. Are you where you want to be? Probably not. No, you know, especially based on this reading, if this is for you. But celebrating where you've been and what you've already done allows this energy to come forward. Breaking those chains of the Eight of Swords allows that energy to come forward where there are more reasons to celebrate, right? I know you know this too. So celebrate yourself. Okay, Taurus. Um, so the two, oh my gosh, interesting. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you guys, the energy that you need to achieve your highest outcome here is the Eight of Cups. There is a need to leave something behind. <sighs> You're either in the process of this right now, or you can smell it on the wind, all right? <laughs> You can see its shadow, feel its presence. There is a need to move away from something to start a new journey. And to not look back is what I'm getting. Like, um, don't feel like you're missing out on something here and moving past something. Because you're not. So two of cups, this is the energy that is blocked. You need to remove in order to achieve your highest good here. This has come out, you know, this is what flew out, <laughs> not this card, this deck in particular, but this is what flew out in the um, Oracle deck that I was shuffling. So I do feel like there is, for some of you, there may be a connection from the past that you need to fully step away from. Like the Eight of Cups is talking about, there's a feeling of um, that something is missing, being left out, but there's not something missing. That chapter closed because it was done. Because this, the chapter was over. That story was, was done. Um, for others of you, I feel like it is this restriction to being open to a relationship, or to courage, to your own courage. To, um, gosh, what is the word? Not fragility. <laughs> Intimacy, okay? Allowing yourself to be vulnerable. There we go. There it is. Thank you, spirit. So yes, Taurus, I feel like it is this concept of being vulnerable that is blocking you from moving towards your highest good here okay i am going to move into the extended so if you guys want to gather a little bit more information here on what's going on for you i'd love to see you that is in the description of the video while you're there feel free to join my newsletter become part of the phoenix fam i am giving away a 30 minute free reading every month for those that are active subscribers so feel free to join it up all right and um, otherwise, if I don't see in the extended, thank you guys so much for joining me here. I love you too much sometimes, okay? Uh, please have a beautiful week, and I'll see you all very, very soon. All right, bye.